Hello, I'm Jonathan Milo. I'm here with a review of a trumpet that uh, I actually kept a picture of on my computer for years because I wanted to have it. And uh, like many horns, it's now been had. Uh, great horn. This is a Zeus Olympus. Zeus Olympus. And uh, with the one that I always wanted, the copper bell. And isn't that a huge looking bell? I've actually got a busher from 1931 or so that's got about a four and a half inch bell. This is uh, about five and a quarter and uh, looks big to me, sounds good to me. Hope you enjoy it. Um, I'll just play something real quickly. I'm using a deep cupped uh, trumpet flugel mouthpiece here, not a large throat, <clears throat> but still I think it will exhibit the beautiful deep tone you can get out of this horn. It, it honestly is, I believe, mellower than some flugels that I've had. But uh, we'll play a moment, then we'll discuss the uh, uh, details of the horn in just a bit. <laughs> This is, as I said a moment ago, a Zeus Olympus. It is considered a large boar horn, 470, and I've always maintained it's not the bore of the horn that concerns me, it's the size of the receiver, and uh, this horn seems to me to be playable. I'm not a strong wind guy, but uh, I don't feel like this horn eats you up. In fact, although the bell has a large end diameter, five and a quarter inches, it holds a mute remarkably well. I don't have a mute that fails to fit in this uh, trumpet. So it's, uh, it's flared nicely, but it's not so large that it's unbearable to play. And uh, that is nice. Uh, as I mentioned, it does have the copper bell, and this is a heavy copper bell. Uh, it also has a copper lead pipe, and then you've got brass for the mouthpiece receiver, which is good, I think, because uh, copper would probably be too soft, get a little flared. Uh, you've got the tuning slides that are all going to be brass, and of course, the valve block. This horn was made by Canstel, um, marketed, I believe, by Zachary Music, and uh, so it has your traditional Canstel feel on the valves, very acceptable. Compression is uh, very good, pops on all of the valves. Um, nice uh, radial tuning slide, not the D shape that you get usually with a box strad, but uh, definitely a more rounded feel. Uh, every copper bell horn that I've had, and I've had vintage ones, I've had newer ones, um, every copper bell horn I've had has had damage to the bell because copper is so soft. In fact, when I got this horn, when you really squeeze on it, you feel like you can just feel the copper tubing begin to bend. I imagine that's a little bit mental, but it is a very soft metal. I did take it to a good tech here in Houston, Steve Holtquist, who is an excellent uh, brass technician in the Houston area. He did a marvelous job just cleaning up some um, dings on the bell area, some down here. Uh, the third slide was a little bit dented. The end looks pretty good now, in fact, quite good, actually. Second slide, you know, just the usual stuff, looking very good now. Uh, the bell was recently cleaned, so it's not developed a patina. It looks light pinkish, but in time, quickly, it will darken to an orange color. And if you leave it um, alone, it'll, it'll really turn like a dark shade of brown. Uh, this horn has no third slide uh, stop. It doesn't have any stop at all. And that's one reason that there were a lot of dings on the bell. If lubricated well, and I keep it well enough for me, but it will fall out if you keep it in a trumpet stand. I usually hook a little bunchy up to it to keep it from falling off, but uh, not using it right now. Okay, mm. what else did I want to mention? Uh, we'll just uh, do a little bit of scale to give you an idea of the high and low of the horn. Again, this is with a deeper trumpet flugel mouthpiece.
Isn't that a pretty G and F sharp there? And honestly, I'm gonna play a pedal tone. They're usually not pretty, but with this horn, even the pedal tones are pretty. <laughs> fourth valve and you could walk all the way down to the uh, C and B flat, it would be usable on this horn. Okay, we will uh, now use a little more modest mouthpiece to give you an idea of the alternate qualities of this horn. And I've said copper. Uh, of course, it can be very mellow if it's played softly, but it really um, can project extremely well and not break up or black as some uh, brass bells will do. So it's a very um, diverse horn in potential. Thanks for joining me. Check out my other vids. Say hi if you'd like. And as always, God bless.